Hi, this is a video on the grid method, an alternative to using long division uh, for dividing polynomials. Our learning intentions are that you'll understand how to use the grid method to divide polynomials, both with and without remainders. Uh, we'll concentrate on cubics divided by linears, but we'll also have a look at the end about how you might do other types. And also we'll do some multiplication first so you can see how it is that the grid method works exactly. So we'll start off with uh, just multiplication of numbers. 137 times 28 can be written like this. This is the column method of lining up your uh, units, tens and hundreds, which is how I was taught to do it when I was at school. Uh, and 7 times 8 would give us uh, 56. So we carry the 5 and write down the 6. 3 times 8 would give us 24. We carry the 2, add the 5, gives us 9. And 1 times 8 would give us 8 plus the 2, which makes it 1,096. Uh, next, we times it by uh, the 2, which is actually 20, so we put a 0 down. 7 times 2 is 14, we carry the 1. Uh, 3 2 is a 6, plus the 1 gives us 7, and 1 2 is 2, giving us a total of uh, 3,836. Okay, now, uh, increasingly the way that multiplication is taught in primary schools these days is to do it in a grid. So we break the number up into 137 and 28. Um, now, um, the, the purpose of this is it makes it visible. So rather than learning an algorithm, uh, you can actually see what's happening here. So 100 times uh, 20, and you could break this down further into 2 times 10 if you wanted. Um, but 100 times 20 gives us 2,000. Uh, 8 times 100 gives us 800. 20 times 30 gives us 600. 20 times 7 gives us 140. Uh, 30 times 8 gives us 240. And 7, 8, so 56. Okay, so if we total then everything we've got there, um, I mean, you can add them across, but if we add them down, you can see we'll get exactly the same as we did here. Um, that's going to give us our 1,096. And that's going to give us 2,740. Which still adds to give us 3,836. So obviously you get exactly the same answer. It's just a different way of doing it. Um, as I said, the reason is it makes it much more visible. You can see where the number's coming from. Um, when you do this, it's very clear that um, when you multiply 137 by 28, part of that is multiplying 100 by 20. Um, that's not entirely clear here, I don't think. Um, so we're now going to look at using... Uh, the same method to multiply a polynomial. Now, um, not exactly a traditional method for this. There are lots of different ways you can do it. Um, usually people are taught to try and make sure they catch everything by, say, doing something like this. Um, so we'd have 2x cubed uh, minus x squared. Uh, and then I want to catch these ones. So I'll have uh, minus 4x squared uh, plus 2x, and then um, making sure I get the last ones as well. That would be those there. So I'll have um, plus 6x minus 3. So if I collect all my terms together, what I get is 2x cubed uh, minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 3. Now we can do this again in a grid over here. If I write x squared minus 2x plus 3 at the top and 2x minus 1 down the side, I can make sure I catch everything and I can see exactly where everything's coming from. So if I multiply this out, I get 2x cubed. Uh, I get minus 4x uh, squared. I get 6x. I get minus x squared plus 2x. And minus 1 times 3 would give me plus, sorry give me minus 3. Now if I uh, just have a look here you can see that in these two diagonals here I've got my uh, x squared terms and my x terms. That's going to be useful to us when we're working backwards. So collecting terms there this equals 2x cubed minus 5x squared just like before plus 8x minus 3. So again exact same answer as we expected. Um, just a different way of uh, laying the work out, different way of doing it. And again, the point of this is it makes it visible. You can see exactly what's going on.
Okay, we're now going to have a look at division. Um, so we just worked out that if you multiply this by this, you get this uh, cubic. So if we take that cubic and divide by one of these, we should get the other. So let's say we divide this by 2x minus 1, we will get x squared minus 2x plus 3. Uh, and we'll do this two different ways. I'll look first at long division, so we can compare this to uh, the grid method. And I choose long division because that's the way that most people um, learn this. So we've got 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 3. And we're dividing that by 2x minus 1. So uh, we look at this term first and we divide it by 2x. And that's going to give us x squared. Trying to keep everything lined up nicely. x squared times 2x will give us 2x cubed, and x squared times minus 1 will give us minus x squared. Then subtract, so this take away that, this take away that. Uh, that's going to give us minus 5x squared. Subtract negative x squared, that's like adding x squared. So we're going to have minus 4x squared, and bring down uh, 8x. Okay, now divide this by 2x, I'm going to get uh, negative. 2x, negative 2x times 2x would give me negative 4x squared. That times that would give me plus 2x. And then subtract again. This will disappear. 8x minus 2x will give me 6x. Bring down the minus 3. And do it again. Uh, 6x divided by 2x would give me 3. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. And then when I do this final subtraction, minus 3 subtracts minus 3 gives me 0. So there is no remainder. So my final answer when I do this division is uh, x squared minus 2x plus 3 with no remainder. Okay. Now, um, there's nothing wrong with long division. Um, it's good. It, obviously, it works. Um, but the grid method is going to help us make it uh, clearer what's going on. We'll be able to see what's happening. Um, so if we set this up, uh, we're doing this divided by this equals something. Now we've got a cubic divided by a linear, which means we know our answer is going to be a quadratic. So if we think about this in terms of a multiplication rather than a division, we start with an answer of 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 3. And um, we're dividing by 2x minus 1. So 2x minus 1 multiplied by some quadratic, which we have yet to find, is equal to this. Uh, so all we're going to do is uh, work out what goes in the missing bits, and then that should tell us what uh, the thing is that we have to multiply by. And that will be what we get when we divide this by this. Um, so the start off, the first thing that we know is that when we multiply this term and this term, we get 2x cubed. Our x squared term times by our x term here gives us 2x cubed. So this is 2x cubed, which means we know this. Uh, it must be 1. So x squared times 2x would give us 2x cubed. Now, if that is 1, it means I know this. So everything follows from knowing this first thing. We can work out everything else. 2x cubed, um, There, this is going to be negative x squared there. And if you remember what I said before about those diagonals being important, well, we know that those two terms here are going to have to add to give us our 5x squared. So this must be negative 4x squared, which means this must be negative 2. So negative 2x times 2x gives us negative 4x squared. Now, uh, that means that I know that this is 2x. And again, because I've got to make 8x here, I know that this is 6x. I'll just highlight that for you now. There we go. And because I know that that's 6, um, I know that this must be plus 3. 3 times 2x would give me 6x, which gives me minus 3 there. And I can check to see if there's any remainder. They're doing the same thing that we did over there. Um, if this number subtracted uh, sorry, this number subtract this number gives me 0. There is no remainder at all. So minus 3 minus minus 3 gives me 0. So remainder equals 0. So this is what we get when we do the division uh, with no remainder. So x squared minus 2x plus 3. And uh, as you say, obviously it's exactly the same answer. Um, and the 
point isn't that it's uh, quicker or anything like that. Um, the point is that it makes it more visible. Uh, so you can see what's going on in here, whereas this is more of just uh, a process, an algorithm that you follow, uh, which finally gives you the right answer. Uh, this one you can see uh, by working backwards that um, this here is a product of these two here. Um, okay, so we're going to have a look now uh, is what to do if we get remainder. So for example, if we were to do uh, this cubic divided by x minus 3, um, we're going to end up with a remainder. Now, if it's okay with you, what I'm going to do is just fill this in and just concentrate on what happens at the end. Okay, so if we just pick up here, um, we've done the division, we've gone through uh, the algorithm here. I've got down to minus 18x minus 1. Uh, so that divided by x is going to give me minus 18 here. Uh, multiply that by uh, this, I get negative 18x uh, plus 54. And then when I subtract this, I have negative 1 subtract 54 gives me uh, negative 55. So my remainder is minus 55. When I do that division then, what I get is negative 3x squared minus 7x minus 18 minus 55 over x minus 3. Okay, over here, uh, we're going to use the grid to do this. Okay, so the first thing we know is that um, this is negative 3x cubed, uh, when everything follows from that. Uh, it means that this is going to be negative 3, this is going to be uh, 9x squared. Uh, these have to add up to give 2, so this must be negative 7x squared. It's negative 7 uh, plus 21x, they must add to give 3, so this must be negative 18x, which gives us that which gives us that. Um, just to highlight, those are the same. So x squared and x is there. Uh, and then our remainder uh, is given by uh, looking at the difference between what we should have, minus 1, and what we have got, 54. So you do this, minus 1, subtract 54. And that's going to give us a remainder of negative 55. So our final answer for that division is negative 3x squared minus 7x minus 18 subtract 55 over x minus 3. There we go. Exactly the same as we had over here. All right. Now, uh, a few hints and tips. If you have a question that comes in the form... Uh, something divided by uh, 1 minus 2x, uh, rewrite it so that it's in the form minus 2x plus 1. That's all I mean by that. Uh, that way, when you put it in your grid, you'll have everything in the right order, and it'll all work out. Uh, zero coefficients. If you have something like um, x to the 4 minus 3 over x plus 1, uh, simply write it out as, so that's a, a quartic divided by a, uh, um, a linear, that's going to give you a cubic, so we have something x cubed plus something x squared, something x and something there, so it's a slightly longer grid. Uh, and down here, your answer is x to the 4. Now put in 0x cubed, 0x squared, 0x minus 3. People do the same thing when they're using long divisions as well. It helps you keep track. Um, now, if we do this, um, it'll mean that we know that our diagonals have to add up to 0, 0, and 0 here. Okay, if you have something like uh, 2x plus 1 over x minus 3, we can still use the grid. Uh, we're dividing by x minus 3. Our answer is 2x plus 1. Uh, and all we're going to have is a constant up here. The constant multiplied by a linear would give us a linear. Uh, so we know we have 2x here, uh, which means this must be 2, this must be minus 6, and my remainder is 1 minus minus 6, so remainder equals 7. So final answer when I do that division is 2 plus 7 over x minus 3. And finally, uh, if you've got something like a quartic by a quadratic, well, you can do it. You just end up with a slightly more complicated remainder, and then if you want to go further, you're going to have to look at partial fractions or something like that. Anyway, that's uh, something for another time. Uh, just a quick reminder, um, the main point about this method is this. It makes the process visible. Okay.
Cheers.